All right, so today we will begin our quest to conquer all 10 of the new extreme super battle Road stages on global. And just like before, we'll be taking them down one at a time in order, starting with stage 21, Universe Survival Saga. Now, obviously, I am expecting a bit more of a challenge than the previous series because that was for regular Super Battle Road, and this is Extreme Super Battle Road, after all. But I think we'll be okay. I think we got this. So with that said, let's find a rainbow hit friend here. Uh, that one's fine. And the rest of the team consists of the STR UI Goku, the AGL UI Goku, the Int SSB Vegeta, Max Power Master Roshi, and Tech Khalifla is basically going to dodge every single attack for us because I think all the enemies on this stage are in the Universe Survival Saga category. So she's going to save us from taking a lot of damage. And uh, with that said, let's jump into it and hopefully things go well. So, ooh, okay, on this first rotation, we have the 6th Anniversary LRs together, which is ideal. And on the other rotation, it looks like we have double hits, which is not ideal. That's actually not very good, but we'll worry about that later. Let's start with this rotation here, and I'm going to start by popping an Icarus, just to be safe. And there seem to be a lot of attacks in the first slot and a lot of attacks in the last slot. So... Um, it's actually kind of tough because obviously Master Roshi has the ability to dodge, but it's a medium chance and his defense, while pretty good, is not great. So if we take a super, we could still be in some trouble. So I'm thinking we definitely put this guy here and then we might have to break up the anniversary outlars and put this guy here. I think that's the safest option right now. So... Yeah, let's go for type advantages whenever we can. Uh, let's go for Bergamo here. And there we go. Okay, so yeah, I didn't really want to break them up, but I feel like it's just a little bit too risky to put Master Roshi in that last slot with like five attacks. If two of those are supers, then uh, it would have been a bad time. So... Hopefully that was the right decision. I mean, we're probably not going to get super twice in that final slot, but why take the risk, right? Oh, we killed him. Well, damn. Okay, so we're off to a good start. We're off to a very, very good start. But I still got to be really cautious because I remember just how tough Extreme Super Battle Road was. And, uh... I want to be able to take down these stages first try each time. I don't think it's going to happen for every single stage, but as much as I possibly can, I want to beat all of these in my first attempt. So let's see uh, how we're going to play this one. So Bergamo is actually stunned, which is great. Um, UI Goku, obviously 70% chance to dodge. Still scares me because he doesn't always dodge, especially supers. But I'm going to trust him right now. Let's uh, give uh, just one orb to hit. That's fine. And then we got these for UI. Uh, let's target Bergamo, actually. And then a second chance to stun him with the other hit. Okay. So about four mil attack. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And if we can get a stun off, that'd be amazing. There we go. Okay, so the full rotation is done. We don't really have to worry about any attacks anymore. Uh, UI does not have to disappoint me with his inconsistent dodging. So, uh, yeah, we're kind of chilling. Now, hit should kill him. So after this, we only have Dragamo. Dragamo to worry about. There we go. And I think I'ma let UI Goku do the honors. And can we get a 18 key? We can't get an 18 key super. So that's going to be a bit of an issue. Uh, getting that 18 key super for Master Roshi is going to be tough. So here's a super, and there's the dodge. Perfect. Yo, this run could not be off to a better start, guys. Like, honestly, 
We're getting our dodges. We're getting stuns. We're getting additional supers. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, see, that's what I was saying, man, about being careful, right? Yo, okay. Okay, I, I, I got a little lax there. I'll admit, I got, I got, I, I relaxed a little bit there, and that was not a good idea, man. That was not a good idea. Holy crap, we just took 200k from a normal attack. <laughs> uh, I relaxed a little bit, and that was, that was, uh, dumb of me, for sure, to, to think, oh, you know, we're good, we're, we're chilling. We only got Bergamo to worry about. Or Bergamo by himself can, can wreck us, man, so... We got lucky there. Luckily, luckily he supered UI Goku, who, who got the dodge. But uh Yeah, no, we're not we're not doing that again. <laughs> we're not underestimating anybody ever again. Now on the bright side, we should hold on, what is the activation condition for this guy's revival skill? Um if HP is 50% or less at the start of Character's attacking turn, and there are two or more Turtle Skull category allies on the team. Revives with 60% HP recovered when the character or an ally attacking on the same turn is KO'd once only. So that means, oh, 50% or less. I was gonna say, like, why isn't the little heart like on fire, right? Because it should show that we have an active skill or a revival skill available, but it's because we're slightly above 50% HP. So, yeah, we can't actually die this turn, unfortunately. Cannot die this turn. Okay, so let me just um, be smart about this. Let's pop a Princess Snake, go back up to full health. And uh, we're going to put this man here. Uh, we're probably going to, I mean, hopefully, fingers crossed, kill Khalifla. And then I think I'm going to keep hit. I think I'm gonna keep hit because that stun is just too valuable. So we're gonna keep hit and then we'll take uh, Master Roshi uh, out of this rotation. So let's go for hit on hit, some hit on hit violence, and then uh, we'll go for Ale here. Still not getting the 18 key super, but it's fine. Okay, so yeah, there's one dodge. Taking a normal for 15k, but that was with type advantage. Or rather, we had type disadvantage, so that's pretty reasonable okay give me a nice crit there okay and one more she's dead for sure she's definitely dead and a third super would be appreciated as well but not necessary that's fine dodge this thank you beautiful okay so no hits taken that turn no wait hold on never mind we took one hit we took one hit but it wasn't bad and now if this guy can get an additional super attack an additional super attack is what i wanted but it's okay it's okay you did your job you got the stun that's that's all i really needed and master roshi with the stun too okay so we got two people stunned now or rather wait hold on oh yeah, yeah. so yeah hit stunned and uh kale is stunned and hmm, do I want to keep Khalifla though? This is the this is always the question with Khalifla, right? Because she she dodges so well, but she doesn't really do much damage, so she's not gonna help us clear the phase faster. So it might be just just a just a better idea to float her and then keep the damage dealers. <sighs> yeah, okay, we're gonna float her. Uh, let's still be careful though. Let's use an Icarus. And who can we uh, take out? I guess just go for type advantages here again. So I'm going to put actually uh, SSBE there. We'll go for Kaba. And then we will target Bodomageta with the UI. And then uh, I guess we'll go for hit with Khalifla. But she's not going to get much attack. It might be like 1 million, if that. We just took 30k. SSB just took 30k. 
But to be fair, he hasn't had a chance to uh, build up yet, right? So he will get much tankier after a couple more hits. Or rather, taking a couple more hits. So I'm not too worried about him. But yeah, just these guys hit really hard, right? Like, you gotta be careful, guys. It's 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 really a different game compared to regular Super Battle Road. Like, regular Super Battle Road at this point kind of feels like a joke compared to these extreme SBR stages. On the bright side, the enemies don't seem to have that much more HP than regular Super Battle Road. They just hit a lot harder. Like, they hit significantly, significantly harder. Okay. Um... Ooh, this is actually kind of tricky, because... Uh, we have... Int... Uh... Ale attacking after the first super. But at the same time, we do have a very high chance to stun her, so I'm gonna rely on that. Hopefully it, it works out. And uh, then we will be able to kill anybody we attack with UI, so let's take out... It, okay, and uh, then the tech hit at the end actually won't be getting hit, so we can attack anybody. Let's, I don't know, whoever's still alive, you'll go for whoever's still alive. All right, let's stun Hale here, so I'm not nervous about a super because I am very, very nervous. No. No, 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 no. Oh my god, we're still alive. Okay, we're still alive. Just barely. Just barely alive, but very much alive. Oh my god, that was bad. That was bad. That was rough. On the bright side, we have a lot of HP. <laughs> we have a lot of HP, so... We were able to survive that without too many issues, but man, that was scary though. <laughs> That was really scary, man. Yo, thank God Hit gets a ton of defense on his um on his super attack, so it was able to eat that. I mean that was with the Icarus too though. Like if we didn't have an Icarus active, we would have been dead. No doubt, we would have been dead there. Okay, here we go. Last phase, it looks like uh, there's a UI Goku, is it just UI by himself? Oh never mind. It's the whole Universe 7 crew. So, ooh, okay, we got we got revival. Yes, everybody's got the revival skill going. Okay, um, all right then. So, whose revival would take precedent? Actually, I'm not really sure. <laughs> who, who, who? Like, would it would it do like whoever's in the first slot, or I have no idea. Which uh, revival skill are we gonna get first? Oh wait, never mind. Wait, what am I, what am I saying? It, it's, it's only... <laughs> it's only the Master Roshi. It's only the Master Roshi, because... Uh, the, the SSB Vegeta needs a couple hits, right? He needs to take... Seven or more hits. I forgot about that. Just erase the last 30 seconds from your mind, guys. It didn't happen. It's not like it's been forever since I've seen revival skills happen, so... Yes, my bad. <laughs> That's my bad, that's my bad. Um, so anyways, anyways, let's uh, just do whatever then. We, we don't really have to worry about dying anyways since we're gonna get the revival. So let's go for Frieza with SSBE. Let's go for this man, 17 with the UI. And then we'll go for uh, UI Goku with Roshi. Yeah, that was really dumb of me. Um, <laughs> can't believe I said that. <laughs> Who's whose revival skill are we gonna be getting? Yeah, I I, sh I should have known that. It was it was Roshi's that was available, right? So, anyways, good super from from SSBE. If he gets me one more additional super, then Freeze is dead. But no, we didn't get that, and now we're dead. But wait. But wait, there's more. <laughs> there's the Roshi Revival skill. Beautiful. Oh, man, I haven't seen this re Revival skill for, for a very long time. Um, mainly because 
I don't use LR Master Roshi too much. But... That's awesome. Okay. So now on this turn, obviously, we're going to pop Princess Snake. And I think I might also pop a... Let's pop a Whis, just to be safe. We have a lot of uh, extra items left over, so might as well. And let's do... Oh, you know what? I'm going to leave UI on that last slot, man. That's that's too many attacks for a hit to handle. Let's go for anybody. Let's go for him. Let's uh, keep attacking him with hit. And then we will try to take out... Now let's take out Frieza. Let's just kill him for sure. Obviously unlimited dodges for for Khalifa. She's she's guaranteed to dodge everything. Um oh my god, yo. <laughs> I did not realize we got a Dokkan attack, guys. How did I even I, I I think what it was is uh, I was focusing on the attacks too much. And I didn't realize that uh the Dokkan attack was available, so I'm an idiot. I'm being really dumb in this run, man. Like, we're still gonna beat it. Don't get me wrong, we're still gonna get through this, but it could have been a lot more efficient. It could have been a lot easier than uh, what we're doing right now. I mean, we could have probably... There was a decent chance we would have killed everybody, actually, uh, with that token attack from UI Goku. So... What can you do, man? Sometimes, some, some, some time, some days, you're just dumb. And this is just one of those days, man, where I'm, I'm, I'm really dumb, guys. <laughs> I have no excuses. I really don't. Um. Yeah, man. It is. It, it is what it is. It is what it is. But that's it. This is still gonna be a successful run. Uh, this might hurt a bit. But that should be fine. Yep, 100k. I can live with that. Uh, and it took a little bit longer than than I was expecting to. But I think it's just because it's our first stage. It's uh, been a while since I've done extreme SBR, so I wanted to be extra careful. I wanted to like think through all my steps. You know, think through like everything we were going to do to ensure that we didn't die. And clearly, I should have thought harder. But the most important thing is, we're going to win. <laughs> we're going to beat the stage on our first attempt. And, uh... I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Okay. I just want this video to be over, man, so I can stop making myself look dumb, because <laughs> I've made so many mistakes <laughs> in this video already. And uh, I feel like you guys are going to make a lot of fun of me in the comments. But that's fine. I deserve it. I deserve it. I was being dumb. So, here we go. Uh, we got the stun on 17. And let's do... Let's do that. So I can give all of those Fizz Orbs to Roshi. Uh, let me think this through for just one second. So I'm going to just pop a Whis, because why not? And let's uh, just give one orb to Khalifla. That's going to be an 18 key super for Roshi. Hopefully that's enough to kill um, UI. And then hopefully it finishes off 17 as well. There's the dodge. I don't know why, I still get nervous though, every time I see the super attack animation start. Like, I know she's gonna dodge, but for a split second, I'm like, what if she doesn't? <laughs> what if she doesn't dodge? <laughs> then I'm screwed, because he's gonna do like 5 million damage to her. But I know she's gonna dodge. But for like a split moment, right? For like that split second, when the animation starts, and it's like going, you know, it's actually playing the animation, and before she dodges, I get really nervous, man. I'm like sweating buckets, I'm not gonna lie. But anyways, <laughs> it's done. It's over, guys. It's over. We did it. Could have been probably like a 15 minute run or less. It ended up being about 20 minutes, but 
it's all good it's all good that's one out of ten guys one down nine to go uh super saiyan 3 is next expect that video to drop i mean the plan was later today but given how i'm you know how my brain's doing right now maybe not it might be tomorrow i might i might need a break from dokkan for the rest of the day we'll see if you see the video then there you go if not then tomorrow for sure and on top of that make sure to go check out my uh double rates banner um hit and super saiyan god goku lr summons because that was that was something else, man. That was one of the craziest summoning videos I've done in a very long time. Um, so yeah, go check that out, guys. But uh, with that said, that's going to do it for today's video. One down, nine to go. Nine more uh, videos like this. Hopefully a little bit, you know, smarter in those videos. But uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.